When you think about it, it really was only a matter of time until someone came up with something called the Fitbark. It's an activity monitor for your dog. It just attaches to their collar, monitors playtime, sleep and rest. Of course it does. Want that in a more stylish accessory? There's the Wonder Wolf. Wonder Wolf is the first fashion forward dog activity monitor on the market. So the camera's angled so Others claim to teach your old dog new tricks. Uh, we have devices that help correct unwanted behaviors from pets, such as jumping, barking, digging in the backyard. And that's not all. We track activity of a dog, their sleep habits and patterns. You can even eventually feed a dog remotely through your phone. You can also play with your dog or cat without, you know, actually playing with it. It lets you watch, talk to, and play laser game with your pet remotely using your smartphone. So cute! There's a market for that, apparently. One estimate has pet wearables poised to multiply like rabbits, with worldwide sales reaching $2.6 billion by 2025, from pretty much zero not that long ago. Veterinarians say wearable devices allow them to accurately measure resting heart and respiratory rates away from the stress of the animal clinic. Movement trackers can provide indications around arthritis and other chronic conditions, technology giving pets a voice. We have a population of patients that doesn't know how to verbalize their symptoms, they instinctively hide pain, and so the ability to collect objective information via some of these devices is going to change the way that we manage their health, but also the way that pet owners are informed about their health. But the real matter market is the helicopter pet owner, the one who wants to make sure their dog walker is actually walking their dog, the one who wants to stay connected with their pet at all times. I love it. Brad Pattison likes to check in on his 10-year-old border collie, Kaya, back in Cologne. I had no idea that it would give me that kind of peace of mind, and I've always been curious as to see what my dog would be doing, like what it would be doing during the day. Kaya! Kaya! Kaya, it seems, likes to nap when her owner is away. At least she's not destroying the furniture. Aaron Saltzman, CBC News, Toronto.